I tell you what, I'm sitting out here on my porch. It's the middle of August and it's hot. And I hate hot weather. And you know, I we had to cancel our uh, vacation, so I can't travel and I love to travel. Can't have church like I want to have church. Kind of sounds like that sermon I preached a couple of weeks ago. If you haven't heard it, shame on you. Go back and listen. The one on the pity party. Uh, well, I'm having a little pity party out here for a minute, but then I begin to think, hold it. You know what? All this is going on. Me and my family, we're all healthy. Uh, I've seen more and more people beginning to kind of come back to church now, feeling kind of that they feel enough safe enough to do that and comfortable enough to come do that, worship together. Uh, this past week, we had a uh, higher viewership than we've had in a while online as well. Uh, in the middle of this, a few weeks ago, we baptized a new believer. God's been good. Lots of good things going on. And when I was reading the scripture a few days back, I, I came across this and just a good reminder I think we all need to remember in Psalm chapter 30, verses 4 and 5, the psalmist says this, Sing to the Lord, you his faithful ones, and praise his holy name. But his anger lasts only a moment but his favor a lifetime. Weeping may stay overnight, but there's joy in the morning. And he's, we should be doing this praising and singing. We need to keep doing that and remembering ah, there are weeping times, but there's always joy in the morning. There's always that hope for us as Christians, whether it be actually in the morning, tomorrow may be better, or whether it be just a few months down the road, a year down the road, or we always have the promise of this next world too, don't we as believers? So, uh, speaking of singing, uh, a song we've been singing recently, a couple of times recently, says that God turns mourning to dancing and beauty to ashes, shame into glory, graves into gardens, bones into armies, and seas into highways. And then it says, you're the only one who can. He's the only one who can. And isn't it great to know that we want to throw a pity party sometimes? Hey, we know the Lord. He's the one who can do all things. And so let's look to him this week. And I hope you have a great week and hope to see you Sunday. Bye-bye.